Welcome back to Ponyville. Grand Pear was originally from here before he opened his famous Pear Jam store in Vancouver. Really? Why'd you move back? I, uh, well, I needed a change of pace. Huh. That's just delicious. I can't believe I've gone my whole life without ever having this. Glad you like it. How much? No. Wow. Thanks, Mr. Grand Pear, sir. It was real nice meeting you. Glad you're back, Sugar Cube. Just in time for breakfast for dinner. I got the perfect topper for flapjacks at the market today. <gasps> Pear jam? What were you thinking? Wait, hide it! Tons of fun. A beautiful heart, faithful and strong. Sharing kindness. It's an easy feat. And magic makes it all complete. You have mine. Do you know you are my very best friends? What's the big deal? It's just pear jam. The big deal is that there is a long standing feud between the apples and the pears. Yep. Why? Why? Well, uh, actually, I, I'm, I'm not really sure. Do you have any idea, Big Mac? Uh, nope. Then I guess we should ask Granny? Ask me what? Uh, what goes better with apple fritter flapjacks? Caramel syrup or praline? Praline? <laughs> oh, that smells great, Applejack. I'm gonna go wash up for supper. Be right back. <sighs> Listen, Sugar Cube. Anytime Big Mac and I ever ask Granny about the feud or the payers, she'd get so upset she couldn't talk. Best not bring it up. Okay, but that grand pear was really nice to me, even though I'm an apple. I wonder what happened. Me too. But if we can't ask Granny, I don't know who. We can ask Goldie Delicious. If any pony knows about the feud, it's the family historian. I'm in. What do you say, Big Mac? Sibling trip first thing tomorrow? Yep. you make an entrance or is it an exit <laughs> well anyway it's so wonderful to see you three to what do i owe the pleasure well goldie uh, we were hoping you could tell us about the uh, uh feud with the apples and the pears oh oh dear well does granny smith know you're here no ma'am but i ran into grand Perry yesterday and he was real nice maybe the feud was a misunderstanding or something and we can fix it uh, well, I don't know about that, little one, but if it's the story you're after, I, I suppose you have a right to know. Uh, let's see, uh, I've got a stack of books here someplace. Oh, Apple Family History, Volume 137. Mm. Mm. Here we are, Feud with the Bears. I mean, pears. My eyes ain't what they used to be. A long time ago, Sweet Apple Acres wasn't the only farm in Ponyville. In fact, there was another one, just right next door. Come and get your apples. Nothing sweeter than biting into a crisp apple on a beautiful fall day. Unless, of course, you could bite into a juicy pear. <laughs> Please, pears are just what happens when you ain't no good at farming apples. Pears are nature's candy. Apples are sour. 
Like the expression on your face right now. <laughs> and so it went. The granny and grand pair were always at each other. Who was the best farmer? Who took better care of their trees? If granny read to her trees at night... And then the little tree reached its branches up to the moon, and the moon said, Good night. Why, then, Grandpa had special blankets made for his trees so they wouldn't get cold. Good night, trees. I've got you covered. Mm -hmm. In fact, all the apples in the pears were rivals to the core. The only apple and pear who ever got along were Bright Macintosh and Pear Butter. Psst. I'm not supposed to talk to you. I'm not supposed to talk to you either. My mom says if you hold a buttercup under your chin, it'll make your chin glow. But it doesn't work on me. You see? Does it work on me? It sure does, Buttercup. Buttercup. I like that name. Wait an apple picking minute. Bright Mac and Buttercup, those are our parents' names. Of course, Buttercup was just a nickname your father gave your mother, Pear Butter. Well, that was her given name. Are you saying our mother was a pear? So we are half pear? I can't believe it. How did we not know? Well, uh, no pony called your mother pear butter. <laughs> and her cutie mark was a preserved job, but pear butter don't look too much different from apple butter, so no clues there. <sighs> Is there anything else you can tell us about them? I know they loved each other very much. They had that uh, magical, uh, star-kissed, other side of a rainbow kind of love. You couldn't be around them too long and, and not feel a little bit lighter than air yourself. <laughs> Anything else? Hmm. I'd need volume 138 for that. I'm sure I could wrangle it in a, in a couple of days. That's all right, Goldie. It was nice just to hear it. Oh, 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 I just remembered something. Your dad and his buddy Burnt Oak would get in all kinds of trouble together as colds. Burnt Oak? The firewood sales pony? I haven't seen him in ages. He and your dad were thick as thieves back in the day. Y'all should talk to him. Well, well, if it isn't the apples, what can I do for you? I know you're not here for firewood. You got more trees than any pony in Ponyville. You're right, but we're not here for that. You come to ask about your dad? Uh, yep. Well, I wondered if you might. Hoped you would. It's nice to talk about him. <laughs> we had a lot of laughs. In fact, this one time, well, we were racing to see who could till the fastest, and Bright Mac was leaving me in the dust. He would have won, too, if he wasn't so distracted. What did you do? I... I'm not sure. She didn't do it, sir. Excuse me? The water silo. It was my fault. <laughs> well, you owe me a new silo, boy. And you? Come with me. No daughter of mine is gonna make Google eyes at an apple. Grandpa never would have known it was your father's fault. But there was no way he'd let your mother take the blame for something he did. So Dad was super honest. Apple doesn't fall far from the tree, huh, Applejack? Your dad worked the apple farm all day and then headed over to the pears on his brakes to fix the water silo. I didn't see him for weeks. Not that he minded. Gave him a chance to get to know your mom. Did you know our mom, too? Buttercup was a real peach of a pear. But if you want to know more about her, you should ask Mrs. Cake. Mrs. Cake? 
she and your mom were inseparable when they were fillies. Then let's go. Thanks, Burnt Oak. Uh, would it be okay if we stopped by again sometime to hear more stories? I'd like that very much. Well, cinnamon sugar on toast. All three apple siblings. Hi, Mrs. Cake. We heard you and our ma used to be real good friends, and we were hoping you could tell us a bit about her. Oh, I would love to. I never knew the right time to bring it up, but I'm so glad you came. <laughs> oh, for starters, did you all know that it was your mom who convinced me to pursue baking? But isn't your name Mrs. Cake? Not always. Back when I was Chiffon Swirl, <laughs> I had no idea what I was supposed to do. But one day, your mom brought me some candied pears, eggs, flour, sugar, and vanilla, and told me to just be creative. Next thing I knew, I was whipping up pear upside down cake, and I got my cutie mark. It was like she knew what I was supposed to do long before I did. Just like you, Sugar Cube. Or rather, <laughs> you're just like her. That was the first of many cakes for me, and Buttercup was with me through it all. She'd be my taste tester, help with the decorating, and prep new ingredients. Over the years, I perfected my recipes. Your mom did so much for me. One day, I wanted to surprise her with a cake. <laughs> oh, it's just you. Sorry, I just brought you a little something to say thank you, but I see you're busy. <laughs> <laughs> Promise he won't say anything? What in tarnation are you doing, Brat Mac? We do not fraternize with pears! You and Bright Mac? Ooh, I wouldn't believe it if I hadn't seen it with my own eyes. Your families hate each other. I can't help it. We just sort of happened. Then Pear Butter told me the sweetest love story I have ever heard. Happy 131,456 hour anniversary, darling. What? <laughs> That's way longer than we've been together. I know, but it's the anniversary of the first time I called you Buttercup. It's okay if you didn't get me anything. Actually, I did. A guitar? For me? But I don't know how to play. Quiet, you. We're far apart in every way, but you're the best part of my day. And sure as I breathe the air, I know we are the perfect pair. It's worth it just to see you smile And I cannot be pulled apart From the hold you have in my heart And even if the world tells us it's wrong You're in my head like a catchy song Wow, it's just wow Do you like it? Be honest now It's the best gift you could have given me Seasons change and leaves may fall, but I'll be with you through them all. And rain or shine, you'll always be mine. On a prickly path that goes on for miles. You're the only one who makes it all worthwhile. And you should not blame me.
too if I can help fall in love with you. Hey, no fair. I was gonna tell you the same thing. You're just mad I beat you to it. I'm telling you, I was gonna pull you up, cover your eyes, lead you over here, and say surprise! And then you'd say, Oh, Brock Mac, I love it. And then I'd say, I love you. Too bad it didn't work out, though. Yep, too bad. The pairs are moving. <gasps> <gasps> I mean, I figured the pairs moved, but I didn't know all that stuff happened before with Granny and Grandpair. It must have been really hard on our parents. Oh, it was. We're moving to Van Hoover? But that's so far. It's what's best. There's acres of untouched land and a warehouse to make our jams. We'll get to expand our business and get away from those gosh darn apples. Pear Butter was devastated, but seeing no way out of it, she did what she had to do. So, that's it? What do you want me to do, Brat Mac? We're moving. I love you, but I have to stay with my family. Then Bright Mac did the most romantic thing I've ever seen any pony do. What? What did he do? We're gonna need one more pony to tell that story. Mayor Mayor, you knew our parents? Not as well as Mrs. Cake, but I did play a part in their love story. The night before the Pear family moved, Bright Mac asked me to meet him at the edge of Sweet Apple Acres. I don't want to be apart from you, ever. I'm not sure what we'll do, but I'm sure of us. So sure that I'd marry you today. I would too. I think that's my cue. I had the honor of officiating your parents' secret wedding, and it was perfect. Bright Mac knew Buttercup wouldn't want a big splash. Reminds me of some pony else I know. <laughs> yep. So they had a special way to seal their vows. I now pronounce you. What is going on? What's with all these hair candles? Hair butter! Where are you? You're supposed to be packing. What are you two doing? Ma, Grandpair, Buttercup and I are in love. What? And we'll be married as soon as Mayor Mayor says, Oh, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Doesn't that feel nice? What are you talking about, married? You two can't be married. Finally, something we can agree on. Pear butter, enough of this nonsense. We're moving. You gotta stick with your family. But the apples are my family now, too. You can't be serious. Are you choosing to be an apple over being a pear? Are you making me choose? Yes, I am. Then yeah, I guess I am. Fine! <laughs> I can't believe Grandpa just up and left Ma like that. No wonder Granny never told us about any of this. These things are never easy. And it's hard to know when it is a good time. It seems to me that now's as good a time as any. To talk to both our grandparents. Excuse me, Grandpair? I'm Applejack, and this year's Big Macintosh. But you already know who we are, don't you? Sure do. Did you really move to Ponyville just for a change of pace? No. Then you came here because you're sorry and you want to get to know us too? I'm so sorry. I, I, I was just so angry, and, but I, I never... It's in the past, Grandpair. Oh, can I call you Grandpa Pear? <laughs> sure can. No, 
I've heard you all get to. I ain't seen hide for hair you all day. We've been all over, learning about our parents. Go, uh, me, you have. And our grandfather. So, you're back, hmm? Sure am. Never should have left. Finding you and learning all about Mom and Dad, I feel like I found a piece of me I didn't even know was missing. Hearing their story makes me feel closer to them somehow. I'm sorry. I should have told you all about them sooner. And I should have been here. Nah, I can't believe I let a silly feud keep me from my family. Nothing's keeping you from us now. Let's not miss anything else. Applejack's right. Welcome back, prickly old pear. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, you old crab apple. Now that we're all together, there's something we want to show you. Mom and Dad left us something to remember them by. Come on! It's beautiful. It's impossible. If anything's gonna make it through, it's apples and pears. <laughs>